Hey there, just uh, want to give everybody who might be new to the module for Cyberpunk a quick uh, introduction to the module and uh, show you how to quickly kind of set it up here. Uh, so once you've installed the automated animations module uh, inside Foundry, you can activate it through your Manage Modules option. And it will ask you to activate Socketlib and Sequencer as well. Those are dependencies of the module. So from there, we'll just simply save the settings. And when you go back into your configure settings under automated animations, uh, you have a few options here. Uh, I won't go into detail on these. I have plenty of uh, tutorial videos over the module overall on my automated animations GitHub page with its wiki. Uh, but to get you started, uh, you want to go to this configure automatic recognition button. What that does opens up your automatic recognition menu. This is a global level setting. Um, so where you can handle all of your animations. Uh, the module ships with stuff based on D&D 5e, so you can pretty much ignore all of that. Uh, what we will do, if you go to Jay's table in the... Oh, nope. Reading this here, it looks like he might have moved it. Uh, yes. Okay, so on the JB2A animations module page, or Discord, I'm sorry, uh, if you go to AA Auto Rex Sharing, uh, Rex the Billy has graciously started a thread where he has uploaded uh, a pair of files and some sounds. Um, the first one is the one he put together based on the premium version of JB2A, which you can get access to that through their Patreon. I kind of modified that a little bit to work with their free module as well, which you can install through uh, Foundry. Uh, and he also has some weapon sounds to help with everything. So I'll show you an example here with the Patreon. We're just going to download his JSON file. And from the automatic recognition menu, simply go to the menu manager. A little pop-up is going to go here. And what we'll do is we'll start with an overwrite. We're just going to completely erase our current menu, import his JSON file, and that'll pretty much get everything rolling. So if we'll hit overwrite here going to choose the file which is the last one I downloaded there click OK uh, and for this just to get started go ahead and check all of them you can moving forward in the future if you have new ones you want to add or import you can do it on a menu by menu basis say if you only wanted to import the range menu you can do that as well but we'll just import everything here. Click import and you'll see the menu automatically update. Uh, he has quite a few animations set up in the range menu and the preset menu for a lot of your grenade type actions. Uh, for his uh, autorec menu, he does have sounds and what you'll need to do is either come in here, well, let me show you here. Once, I've already downloaded the zip file and what I've done is in my foundry folder in the module directory, let's use the tile one, I just created an assets fold right under my foundry data folder and inside a, a weapon sounds. That's just how he already had it. Um, you can do that and unzip all the sounds into this and they'll populate in here. It won't show here from the tile browser because we're looking for sounds, but, or you can uh, also you know, unzip it anywhere you'd like and you just have to come in here and change that initial file path to get to the files. So we have all that set up and going. So on my character here, now all we have to do, we're going to close this. We'll leave that open for a moment. Um, open this character sheet. I'm actually pretty new to the cyberpunk system here, so I've been finding my way around. So I have uh, some, see I have an assault rifle equipped right now, so let's show that. Reload, um, roll attack, and that's when your animations are going to fire. Forgive me if the sound's a little loud. I'm not sure how this is going to come through. Uh, but you can see it's going to automatically fire every time you roll an attack for a weapon. Now the module already comes activated uh, with some built-in functions for Cyberpunk to enable automatic repeats. What this does is when, you're, when you have a weapon set to automatic or suppressive fire, it's going to kind of override the animation settings for those to repeat it 10 times and that'll do the primary and secondary animations 
and the sound. So we'll let's do some automatic fire here. That's probably coming over loud too. But we'll see. And when you do suppress a fire, it's not going to hit on the token. It's going to fire all around it. And that's pretty much all you have to do to uh, get up and running right away. Uh, you can obviously go into these menus and configure all the animations like you want. Um, just, I guess, for the automatic recognition menu, this all does it off of uh, kind of name recognition by uh, most exact match down to a least exact. So uh, he actually has, I th looks like, damn near everything set up. You can go in like we were just firing, I think, basic rifle ammo. Uh, I can double check that. Basic rifle, and one thing you can do if you want those to fire faster, you can come in here to the repeat delay. This repeat section here, that's what's getting automatically overridden with the automatic and suppressive fire. You can control how fast the spread is in between by changing that repeat delay. So that's in milliseconds, so we're gonna, we went from a quarter of a second down to 75 milliseconds. And I'm just going to change the sounds to match that and show you the difference here. Uh, suppressive. Oop. Sometimes on initial ones you'll get some caching issues and it might skip a sound or two if you do them really fast, but subsequent ones, once they're loaded in cache, it should be fine. Um, let me show you one thing here. So he's got a grenade launcher. Grenade launcher, where is it? Do I have any ammunition? Sure, flashbang grenade. And he has an animation for flashbang grenade set up. These animations he has set up in the preset menu are under what we're calling the projectile the template menu. So, I accidentally added one there. So, if you place a template on the canvas before you use that weapon, that's where it's going to fire it. And I'm not sure on the size of these on, on the system just yet, but let me demonstrate this, and we're just going to fire and roll the attack. It's picking up that last template that was placed. Throw the grenade. Boom. Now, I did just had add uh, a setting into these. On You can go in, let's see, the primary explosion. Above templates. That's brand new. Um, we'll change that, so when you fire this, it's going to... Show the explosion above the template instead of being hidden underneath it. And those sounds are good. Uh, but yeah, that's pretty much it. Feel free to reach out to me on the JB2A Discord or ping me in one of the Cyberpunk servers. Um, I am around to help. Thank you very much.